again guys, Prof Coops. Uh, in the uh, previous video, as I mentioned, uh, I'd brought a few other cards this week. And this is them here, so I'm just going to give you a quick run through. I've spent far too much, as I mentioned, in the last video. Uh, but some of the cards are just too cheap to say no to, and can't help myself sometimes. My girlfriend is hating me right about now. Why spending all this money on Pokemon cards for? <laughs> it's hard to justify it as well, so uh, it's hard to do anyway. But anyway, Latios Goldstar. Awesome card. Japanese art. Uh, this is probably for trade, if I'm honest. Um, it's Gold Star, and obviously I'm collecting Gold Stars, but because it's not Japanese, I probably don't have any use for it. Um, so yeah, that that possibly for trade. Uh, Shining Celebi for my Shining collection. This is Mint. There you go. Shining Tyranitar. This came from the same seller as Celebi, so they came at the same time. Again, that's Mint. We've got Charizard. Can't go wrong with a Shining Charizard. It was so cheap I couldn't not buy it. Uh, this is not mint. It's not even close to be honest. Just focus there. You can see across the top the edging. And down there just under all oh, there's a crease. It's hard to see with this light. But yeah. Just under all oh, there's a crease. So it's not mint but I needed it for my collection until I can find a mint one. It'll do for now. Uh, next shining Noctowl. One of my favourite shinings, to be honest, if not my favourite. I just think it looks awesome. Look at that, wow. That, this is mint as well. Next two cards are big. Now, from the same seller, and I make no mistake in saying they are not mint. But again, the same with that Charizard. They're a must for a collection. And they had to be purchased, again, both from the same seller. Here they are. Charizard EX English and Japanese. So there they are. The Japanese one is in better condition than the English one. But still not great to be honest. Uh, mainly edge wear with this one. But like I said, the Japanese is across the top, look there it is. I knew it was somewhere. Uh, Japanese is in a lot better condition than the English one. That's saying a lot. And here's the English one. Now, as all videos, it is pretty hard to show the condition. Down this corner, there's creasing, and the card is actually coming away. The foil's coming away from the card. Um, another crease there, and it's just main edge wear, and there's a crease. And the bottom as well, but they were really cheap, so I had to buy them. So there they are into my collection. It was a must. And the Japanese card looks so much better than the English one. The shine on them is just awesome. So there we have it, guys. Uh, like I said, I've got loads of cards incoming uh, for sale at the moment. I have these two booster boxes. Uh, Mysterious Treasures and Great Encounters are on eBay UK, so check that out. They're on there right now. Uh, I may put one of the base two up, because I don't need to. Um, I think that is all for the moment. And all of these here for trade, so I'll do a trade video with those. And that Muse probably for trade as well. That was from uh, Map Industries. Uh, I don't think they grade cards anymore. But it was a uh, gem mint, so 10, 10, 10. Uh, and those are for trade as well. So I'll do a trade video with those. And there's just a load of Charizards, etc. Uh, so I'll sort those out. Uh, and I'll get that video up as soon as I can. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. None of the cards you've seen here are for trade, other than possibly this one, like I said, Lattice. And that would be... I need the English version, so simple as. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for checking the video out, guys.